All right. While my food is cooking, <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear my food sizzling in the background, but all right, let's do some more symbols of legitimacy. Um, for now, I'm just gonna. Oh, I gotta put. Hold up. We're gonna put. Um, we're gonna put Lusta, because that was an evolution. And then yeah, and that turned into legend trick. And then um, for now, we're just gonna put Finland up here, okay? Um, because I've been thinking about this topic, and um, this is. This is uh, symbols of the nation, okay? This is like a different role. It's not necessarily like, are you the champion battler? Because it's not about skill level, you know? Tricking is not just, are you the best tricker, you know? Finland is a great example of a symbol of the nation with Velu. Let me get his name bigger. Because um, it's not just can you trick, you know, you also have to be a community contributor, a leader, an innovator, a pioneer, someone who inspires, someone who, who you know, um, judges and does uh, so much more, you know, community building, it's not, it's like a positive contributor, you know, it's not just are you good at battling, it's not just are you good outside of competition, it's like are you the whole package, you know, and do you represent your country, that's like the most important thing, the culture. Are you a developer of your own culture or are you just taking other people's culture? Are you able to, you know, innovate and create your own original style? Fuck yes for Velu. Now, <clears throat> I was just thinking about um, the United Kingdom because the first two names that come to my head is Sam Kojo and Chris Brady. And right now, Hold on, let me move this up. Let me move this up because I don't want it. I don't want it to, I, like. I don't want it to seem like, you know, like. I want that. That looks better. That looks better. Um. Okay. So historically, like that region, that whole region, the very conception of that region, the the greatest power, at the earliest point that I can think of, is actually a team called, Team TF. Okay. Um. Now there's also. Uh, some Taekwondo athletes like Team uh, TKD, they, they went by, an, they just went by TKD, like TKD Andy or whoever. Um, but Scotland is actually historically kind of the symbol, like the capital of tricking in that particular region. This is like Great Britain, United Kingdom. So, uh, and this, by the way, the, um, I do have my disagreements with some athletes out in this region. Uh, I'll never fully agree with anybody, you know what I mean? But I do, I have the capacity to put aside my personal differences. And, um, but I'm trying to look at it from a cultural perspective. And uh, Team GAO is a huge UK contributor and they've evolved. To, I believe that one of the members, I think it's GAO James, has evolved to become a coach at a gym. I have to study this region a little bit more. I'm not fully decided yet, but to be honest with you guys, I genuinely think that um, I think I think K-slash is the symbol of that region. Um, it might be him. It could be. I'm going to put other names down because I'm not fully decided. Um, let's also put Sam Kojo. Sorry, Sam Kojo. Uh, I don't think Ahmed is the symbol of that region because Ahmed isn't as big of a contributor. Like. Uh, Sam Kojo is a platform owner. Kyle Skelly is a platform old owner as well. K, uh, K Slash owns Hadouken. Um, let's put UK as well. Um, it's definitely not Tiki, no offense, but Tiki's a skilled battler, but he's more of a battler and a judge. He doesn't own his own platform. He doesn't, he's not an artist, you know? But when I think of, when I think of that region, the biggest power, you know, um, like Kyle Skelly is Scottish. He's not like Kyle Skelly is. Hold on. He's from Scotland. You know what I mean? Like, and Sam Kojo, the garrison became famous because of Kyle Skelly and K slash has seniority overall. You know what I mean? And team TF is one of the most, excuse me, prominent teams out there in that region. So. When I think of this region right here, 
Uh, actually, you know what? There's a, a better blow up. When I think of this region right here in red, I genuinely, I, I feel like the capital and the symbol of this region right here, if I had to guess, I genuinely kind of do feel Chris Brady, but it's so close that I'm not 100%. So I don't want to call it yet as to who I think is the symbol of the nation, but I, I'm kind of feeling that, that, you know, the evolution of Team TF, because that's where a lot of power came from initially. Let me scroll back. A lot of a lot of um, tricking culture from that region is informed by Team TF. So I'm kind of feeling K slash currently, but I'm not fully decided. Um, I gotta I gotta hold up. We gotta we gotta expand this document. We gotta make this document bigger. Um, okay. Now, when it comes to France, uh, the very first name that comes to mind, the first team, striking Z, and the first name that comes to mind is Chris Afonso. Under him, Tristan. Uh, a little bit over here is uh, Marco Lindley. But Marco, I don't know if he's necessarily a representation of France. I kind of feel like he's more a rep of um, Kojo's Trick Lab, you know, which is kind of a non-national organization over here. You know, there's a lot of legitimacy, but they're not, they don't represent the nation. That's the thing is uh, some of these organizations are non-national, right? I'm trying to figure out who's the representation of the culture of the nation, like who defends their country, who reps their nation. There's no denying that Velu represents Finland, for example. You would never deny that I represent my country, Canada. But there's there's players, there's athletes that are non-national, you know, like or they're multinational. And it's kind of hard to figure out because who do they give power to? Are they trying to bring glory to their country that they currently reside in? Or where are they trying to bring glory to, you know? Um, but what's the history of that country? The history of France in my opinion, really does descend along this line right here. I genuinely feel like, you know, you could put in uh, Vivian, Vivian uh, Yulu. How do you spell his name? Yulu, like that? Yulu. I haven't seen his last name in a while. But, you know, he represents Trickstrong, which is a, a um, an American brand. I got to put Trickstrong over here. I'll put in red. got trick strong that's not their logo by the way I'm just putting that there for now I'll, I'll do I'll make my own little artist interpretation later but uh, you know he rep Vivian represents trick strong Marco represents KTL mostly to be honest Tristan you know he fights for France and Chris Afonso as well you know fights for France so I feel like I feel like Chris Afonso I'm feeling Chris Afonso with like Tristan being the next in line you know but he's like a younger version. He's not quite there yet. But these guys, not so much. Not so much. And that's France. And my food is just about ready. So I'm going to go end the video here. But this is me building out. This is to let people know my process. I'm the type of person I like to prove myself to myself. But also so that people know that you know this is me doing my work here. Okay. And I don't know everything about the world of tricking, but I've been around to see the development, okay? And who do I think is the symbol of the nation? We're working on that. We're building that out, okay? And these are also judges, too. K slash should be judging. Velu, definitely a judge. Chris Afonso, one of the most prestigious. You know what? Fuck yes, it's Chris Afonso currently. I'm going to fix this. I got to go address my food right now, but... Chris Afonso, definitely friends. And we're going to go through and we're going to get to the bottom of this, okay? All right, take it easy.